I'm really having a blast with this stereo microsound processor by 1979 in 4U format. I'm finding it a great addition to my Buchla system. It's based on Mutable Instruments clouds, but what I love about this iteration is Wes has brought forward a lot of what was behind the panel in the Eurorack version. For instance, you had to scroll through various presets with these buttons and use just a single knob to access balance, panning, feedback, and reverb. Now they're on the front panel and I can use my Buclidian chops, if you will, to access them easily. It's a, a wonderful interface. So I'll just take you through a simple overview and in the next episode put some sound through this. First, just a quick rundown of what you're seeing on the faceplate, starting in the upper left-hand corner and zigzagging my way through. In the upper left-hand corner, the time, you can choose how long your sample time is. One, two, four, or eight seconds. The longer the sample time, the lower the sample rate and bit resolution. Next, grain. That's a pulse input, or you can use the button to be a momentary trigger of a single grain. Bank stores four different presets that you've made. Moving down to the left to the position knob, this selects where in the sample your playback begins. It's also voltage controllable with an attenuverter. Input is for stereo or mono audio input level. Freeze is again a boucle pulse. So you can hit it with a pulse and it will freeze as long as that is high. Output is audio output, left and right, gain. And grain size is the length of the grain. And it is also CVable with an attenuverter. Now to the bottom row, left hand side, these are fairly straight ahead pitch. The gray banana jack input means that it's 1.2 volts per octave quantized. It also has an attenuverter. Grain rate is what it says, the rate of grain, also CVable. Shape, with the knob all the way to the left, it's a square wave. It sort of acts like almost an envelope. As you go towards the center, you get more of a triangle wave, and all the way to the right is a diffuser. It almost feels like a chorus. Balance is balanced between your incoming audio signal and wet is fully processed through the stereo micro sound processor. Panning is really cool. I love this. All the way to the left, it's equal sound out of left and right. As you move towards center, you get a back and forth based on the grain rate. And then as you go to the right, it starts to go random panning. Feedback is feedback, uh, internal feedback. So you can get that sort of big tape feedback delay that, you know, back on Forbidden Planet. And reverb is a really sweet, nice reverb. Again, the bottom row is all voltage controllable with attenuverters. I love this fact that so much is right there and available. Okay, next episode, we'll put some sound through this. Thanks for watching.